Bill sponsor Senator Chris Duenas describes the dilemma of many who own subdivided property that was not recorded by their parents before they passed on. It is an injustice, it's a disparity in law, and it has caused a lot of problems in our community with regard to people being able to build affordable housing because uh, they're not allowed, even up to a quarter acre, they're not allowed to uh, put the septic system on uh, their property. One particular family, um, you know, their testimony is straight away that uh, three of their 11 family members basically just left Island pretty much for the sole reason that they couldn't build a home. And it, they were just priced out of the market to try to build it and have to buy property. And they were like, wow, I have this, you know, uh, 1,000 square meter lot. Uh, you know, my neighbors are building houses, but I can't because our fa our family land was given to us, you know, by court order after our parents died. Not being able to get septic system permitting is a major roadblock, but Duenas doesn't want to remove that protection for our main water source either. Instead, he's proposing to amend the law to require a specific type of leaching process called a type 4 nitrate removing system used globally and pioneered in Japan. It is a system that literally cleans toilet water and dirty water before it even goes to a holding tank where it can eventually be uh, leached out. This law is doing what EPA told us to do. They said in order to remedy this, never mind about the fact that we're going to treat everybody the same because the law exists where there's a disparity, just go to a type 4 system and we'll sign off on the paperwork. The public hearing on the bill is scheduled for Thursday. Nestor Lacanto, KUAM News.